As far as banks are concerned, what has never changed and will never change are the five C's of banking. Whether you're structuring, whether you're lending, whether you're handling anything, look at the capacity, look at the character, look at the collateral, look at the covenant, and of course, and the, 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 the capital of, of, of the entity you're dealing with. Now, capital can be financial capital, capital can be intellectual capital, capital can be social capital. And so you're talking about using different, different kinds of data to be able to transact and take risks on people and be able to make their uh, decisions for them. So essentially, I feel banks can definitely win or as incumbents, or the fintechs would win as insurgents as long as both of them follow a very simple process of understanding customer centricity. Today, customer is the king. And one of the biggest challenges in the world is how do you decode the customer's mind? How do you decode your mind from my mind? Or how do we decode the minds of 400 people to, you know, who are on this, uh, on, on this um, talk today? We, all, we are all in a common platform. We're all thinking differently. We're all hearing the same amounts of input. So you know, the stimulus is the same but the response is very different. So you're talking about a response to external stimuli and the reactions that you create. And very often reactions are created based on, you know, whether you're, you're biased or you're, you're jealous. And the reason I say this is we, start have to, we have to start realizing that banking has to be human. And I'm, I'm using your phrase because you, you know, I decided that I'd take some of your phrases and integrate it into what I just said. Because if banking is to be human, it does require the use of artificial intelligence, use of far more data, understanding that customers have a choice and being able to start integrating their solutions without sacrificing some of these elements of 5C, the regulatory requirements, the compliance requirements, and the trust that are inbuilt into a bank.